for you. Here's let me just paint what we hear, Douglas, right. I, and I know that you see it. Mortgage I mean, or housing hasn't really come back yet. It was an right. awful, uh, obviously, financial crisis. And, and I'm hearing both, that, that the other thing is that Republicans have stonewalled everything the president's tried to do. So he tried any, any you know, the American Jobs Act, they didn't pass that. So we right. shouldn't be surprised that we're still at 8.2%. Uh, That's what we're hearing from Axelrod uh, and others. What really is, is causing us to grow, uh, GDP to grow below plan and, and the jobs market to be so weak? Well, I mean, as you know, the, the only way to get real upside growth is to get strong uh, improvements in the housing market, which feeds into lots of industrial and manufacturing sectors, and in autos. And we, we really haven't seen that. Uh, housing, I think, uh, is probably beyond policy repair. There isn't a large-scale housing intervention that's politically feasible. Uh, autos have looked a little better, but I'm worried that there isn't enough income growth in the consumer sector to support the, mark, uh, the, the auto rally. So, you know, we're going to muddle along in the absence of those things. In those circumstances, Joe, the best thing we could do would be to have policies that supported strong trend growth. We haven't seen those. We've had policies that are about cyclical recovery, and we've had gridlock on the long-term structural problems. So, uh, there's not a great reason for upside hope right now. Well, what, what will next month's report and the month after that, with Europe as a backdrop and China as a backdrop, do you expect us to get back up to 200,000? So I know. Soon? What about 150,000? Uh, well, you know, we, we've seen a conscious attempt for uh, policymakers to make 150 the new normal so markets don't get rattled when we hit it, but uh, I think 150 would be optimistic, quite frankly. We just don't seem to have the output growth necessary to generate that kind of employment. Um, you know, the data recently has been mixed at best, um, in my view, uh, less than optimistic, and so I'm concerned about the, the pace of uh, the near-term uh, yeah. expansion. I really am. Howard, we, uh, off camera, we were talking about one of our market masters, Bob Dahl, is, is retiring uh, from BlackRock. I don't yep. know if we, if we